Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be doing the hash rates for an RX 6700 XT. And this is specifically an Asus Tough Edition 6700 XT. And man, this thing is definitely beefy, all right? So this is normally, you can see this is a two DIN slot here and uh, looks like it can fill up a three DIN slot. So that looks pretty cool. And look at this, it requires two two eight pins all right for power and yeah this thing is actually quite hefty it actually feels heavier than the 6800 that I tested about last week ago so yeah look at that we're gonna do a size comparison here and yeah it looks like the Asus tough is a little bit longer than the Sapphire Nitro but that doesn't matter we are here to test out the 6700 XT for the hash rates and as you guys know I do all these kind of videos for all of the GPUs that are out in the market right now I know that there are you know there's a 6800 XT and the 6900 XT which I have not been able to get my hands on yet but I don't think I will as uh, those cards are really really expensive and uh, you guys know the prices of GPUs right now are are just insane so and I think you all know the hash rates as well for those cards and uh, so the hash rate relative to what the you know the dollar per hash metric is gonna be it's it's pretty bad compared to like the Nvidia cards so yeah uh, you know we're I'm not expecting much from the 6700 XT, but I'm gonna go through all the hash rates and hopefully you guys know and saw that video where I tested the Sapphire Nitro 6800. All right, this is the non-XT. I did all the hash rate numbers here that I could uh, on different miners out there, all right? So like Team Red Miner and uh, LOL Miner, Vert Hash, NB Miner, and yeah, so we're gonna do the same thing in this video. So yeah, let's go ahead now and uh, I'm gonna take out the 6800 and we're gonna plug in the 6700 XT, all right? So give me a sec. There you guys go. As you can see, it is plugged in to my ITX test bench. And I already have it mining on Ethereum, all right? It's getting about, uh, well, using about 157 watts, 158 watts, oh, 160 at the wall, okay, for this whole rig, including the GPU, uh, CPU, power supply, all that stuff. Now, it has been mining for a couple hours already. I've just been testing it just on Ethereum as I would say that's the most profitable, most popular coin that everyone's mining right now. So you can see here, we're getting about 46.51 mega hash. This is what I've been able to achieve. And uh, I've been using, uh, I've been trying the AMD software, Wattman, and as well as MSI Afterburner. But it looks like I have a bit more luck, a bit more efficiency with uh, AMD Wattman here. So in the software, it says we're using about 103 watts. But at the wall, I just showed you guys, we're using about 157, 158. So I think realistically, this GPU right now, you know, just without any BIOS modding or more power tool or anything like that, it's it's probably using more towards 115 to 120 watts at the wall. Okay, and uh, hardware info is also showing about 103 watts as well. Okay, so very similar to what AMD Wattman is, but I'll just show you guys what settings I'm using and uh, we're using the fast timing mode on AMD Wattman, okay, and as well as uh, we're doing manual, so I just did 2150 on the mem and I did 912, I just, I just put the millivolts voltage uh, for the core all the way down. And uh, the max frequency I did, I think the lowest I could go is about 1117, okay, on the core there. So yeah, we're able to get about 46.5 mega hash, all right, at about uh, 103, 104 watts, okay, in the software. So, I mean, not groundbreaking, all right, like <laughs> the 3060 Ti, I guess this is could be pretty much on par 
in terms of efficiency. I don't know. I, we got to do the math here. On a 3060 Ti, that can do like 60 to 62 mega hash at about 120 to 125 watts. You can do the hash per watt comparison there. So there you go. That's the Ethereum hash rate for this 6700 XT. Like nothing crazy. Like, you know what's funny is that, you know, this GPU, it's a new generation, right? And the last generation, the 5700 XTs, they can do, you know, 56 or sometimes 60 mega hash. I mean, more realistically, I think the average is about 56 mega hash on the 5700 XTs. And so it's funny, this 6700 XT is only able to do about 10 mega hash less, all right? And of course, the 5700 XTs, we have to BIOS mod anyway to get that 56, but you know, without any BIOS modding or, you know, more power tool to lower the power. I mean, I don't think I'm, I may do a more power tool video on this thing just to lower it a little bit more, but honestly, for as it is for stock without even you know editing anything and just using wattman here we can get 46 mega hash which is like i said not nothing groundbreaking i would rather get nvidia cards like just being honest i wouldn't buy these cards for mining and we all know nvidia cards are just a lot more efficient compared to the amd cards okay so anyways guys i'm gonna now just test out the other algorithms and uh if you don't want to watch the rest of the video feel free to click on the google sheet below you guys can see the hash rates already all right so i will be back and uh, we'll do the profitability on what to mine for all the algorithms once i do it all right so i'll see you guys in a second All right, guys, real quick, I have a disclaimer. When it comes to GPU mining, remember, silicon lottery. Results may vary from GPU to GPU, so my clocks, undervolts, voltages shown in my videos may not work for you because of GPU brand, memory, manufacturing, what have you. Temperatures and your cooling methods will also play the part and have an effect. Test at your own risk and do your own research. All right, so I've done all the hash rates that I could on this 6700 XT and again link down below to the Google Sheet that you guys can see and yeah I tested pretty much a lot that I could uh, vert hash uh, vert coin unfortunately I could not get working it was giving me a bunch of errors so I, I even downloaded the latest version of their OCM so I feel like the kernel for the 6700 XT is probably not implemented yet so that's why it's not working but uh, maybe I will do that on another video next time uh, when it's updated okay and then a eternity and BitTube, I could not get run as well on LolMiner, the latest version of LolMiner uh, 1.26. But uh, generally, though, you guys can see, I won't go through all the numbers here, but you can see it on the Google Sheet. I tested out a bunch of different uh, uh, overclock settings in Wattman using the fast timing. All right, I was able to just keep it at 912 millivolts on the, on the core and 2150 on the memory. And yeah, the greatest thing about this GPU I was able to keep it at those settings and then just change the core from like the lowest of the low I, that I could without dropping too much mega hash or a hash rate at 1117 and then I went all the way up to like 2300 core at the same uh, voltage and memory and it was still going fine so yeah pretty boss GPU to be honest uh, but the hash rates like compared to like overall if I was just to overall look at the hash rates here that I was able to achieve on this GPU compared to like a 3060 Ti you know the 3060 Ti is definitely a lot better maybe I would say another 30 percent or so in terms of efficiency don't quote me on that I'm just guesstimating there but yeah in terms of like the price of these 6700s versus you know buying a 3060 Ti which is I think a lot right now actually 3060 Ti it correlates all right it correlates to the the efficiency and like cost comparison compared to like a 6700 XT versus a 3060 Ti. But yeah, if you're able to get the 3060 Ti at like MSRP, right, then it's a good buy, right? But if you're going to spend $1,500, oh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm, I wouldn't spend that much. Anyways, guys, to end off real quick here, I just want to talk about the profitability for some people that care about it. You can see here, I've entered in all the hash rates that I could on what to mine. We're going to hit calculate. And uh, yeah, Ethereum 46.51. Okay, going down, of course, Ethereum is the most profitable one, all right, in terms of fiat numbers here. Obviously, you all you all know that uh, in terms of Satoshi value, that's how we get the fiat number here. So going down the list here, Ravencoin is the next profitable one. Grin, Fero, uh, Tent. Oh, this is a new one I've never heard of before. 
Zhash. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, Beam, Bitcoin Gold, Callisto, Flux. All right. Used to be Zelle. Uh, now it's Flux as of recently. Ethereum Classic. But look at that. Conflux is down here. So yeah, generally, yeah, Aeon's down here. So I mean, yeah, the 6700 XT is, it's profitable to mine as of right now. So for people thinking about it or looking at it in a way that uh, yeah, 6700 XTs could be available now at MSRP to buy. Sure. But in the long term, do you think uh, this is a GPU you want to keep for mining in comparison to the NVIDIA cards, 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080, or even the 3090, uh, for instance, right? These cards, they're all pretty good for mining, like other algorithms, all right, other coins out there. But uh, in comparison to what it can do uh, against, uh, you know, Ravencoin for the 6700, it's, uh, yeah, it's not as great as the other cards. But it's it's okay. It's generally okay. I'm hoping that later on in the future, the the 6000 series GPUs could probably get more efficiencies or uh, just optimizations down the road. I'm sure BIOS modding, you know, better timings, all that stuff that that's probably going to come in the future. But as of right now, there's nothing that we can see. Uh, there is the uh, more power tool that you could undervolt it a bit more to save more power. But from what I've seen, you'll get generally the same mega hash. You'll just save maybe another 10 or 15, 20 watts on, which is which is actually way better, way better. But uh, for now, I like it keeping at stock. I don't have to change anything, but maybe I'll do a video on that later. Okay, guys, so there you go. That's it. That's the information hash rates that I could achieve on my 6700 XT. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If there's something else you guys want me to test out, let me know down below. But yeah, this was fun. I love this GPU. I will probably build a 6800, I have a 6800, ARC 6800, and a 6700 XT now, so I'll probably build that on a little mining rig, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll do a video on that, so stay tuned, my friends. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, have a good one, and peace out.